Hi, let's make a glowy cube. You'll need a newspaper, you'll need some paints. This little UV light came with the paints, it's useless. We're gonna need a paintbrush, a cube, and a proper UV lamp or light. I should have got a lamp, but I've just got a torch. Uh, all right. I think this one will be pretty good. Let's give it a little test. <laughs> yep, awesome. Okay, let's separate these bad boys. Ah, oh, pink instead of red. Okay, first we'll do white. I don't know why. I don't even really know what I'm doing. I've gone in this with no clue. So here we go, an adventure together. Paint this up. I will speed all the painting up, but let's just look at some of the relaxing painting. Probably shouldn't have painted white first. I can't really tell what's going on. Water in a cat mug. Forgot to get that first to clean the brush. All right, let's do orange. Getting the orange paint ready. And hopefully we can see the paint go on better this time. Yeah, that's better. The painting bit's actually pretty relaxing and feels nice on the smooth cube. I think I'll do three layers of paint on each side. Blue, yeah, looks pretty cool. It's going on pretty smooth. Getting this paint off the very edges has been pretty tricky. I just don't want any paint mixing with other paint. I think it's going all right though. All right. I should have probably let it dry naturally for a day, but I've got no patience. So here we go, hair drying it. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's dry. Oh, it's still a little bit wet. It'll be right. <laughs> My plan is to put it on this cube stand. Hey, it finally came into use. So I can do the other three sides. There we go. I think the green's gonna look awesome, yeah. Is it going to stay still enough for me to paint? Oh, I should have let the other sides dry. Cat mug with me, Emily and Jinx, with new fresh water to clean the brush. Okay, pink. I had to think about it and pink probably would look better under the black light than red anyway, it's more fluoro. It's looking pretty good. The cube stays still enough. So far so good, but it would have been ideal to pull the cube apart first, do pieces individually. But that's going all right. It's cleaning up all right. Here we go. Uh, one side to go. Push in mug with some new water. Okay, last side yellow. I've got to try not to get any other colors mixed in with the yellow. So 
brush can't go over the edge at all. So far so good. Okay, some final touch-ups. The pinky kind of went red anyway, after it dried a bit. I'm going to have to get the paint out of the gap so it doesn't seize up. Hopefully it'll be right if I just get the major chunks out of the bits around the centerpiece. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over so we can do the other side. It looks dry, but it's still a bit wet. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's done. Let's check it out under the black light. Oh, whoa, it actually turned out pretty awesome. It looks different on camera than when I'm looking off camera. It actually looks like it has LED lights in it in real life. It's the only thing in the room showing colour, which is pretty cool, or besides blue and dark blue and black and white. Um, but yeah, depending on where I look from, sometimes the green looks like yellow and vice versa, and the white looks like blue when I look through the camera. Can't seem to get a right mix. I might have to change where the light is. Hang on. Okay, so I think this is the best I can do with what I've got. I've got paint everywhere. I've got paint all over the cube. So that's the biggest mistake I've made so far, not waiting for it to dry. And unfortunately on camera, the white looks like blue. I've, oh, I've mixed all the colors up touching it, but we'll, I'll have a crack. I'll do a scramble and a solve. Okay, this is gonna be so hard because it's a little bit like I've got lenticular stickers on it. Um, or the chameleon cube where I have to keep sneaking peeks on the side of the camera. Oh, wow. Yeah, look, this would have worked out so cool um, if I had a done it completely different. <laughs> uh, pull the cube apart and paint each piece individually taped up properly so the paint doesn't go. Do multiple layers, obviously let it dry between layers of paint. Oh, sorry, this is taking so long. Every, honestly, blue looks like blue <laughs> and white looks like blue and yellow looks like blue. I wish I had painted the white side a few more times. Ideally, probably as many layers you can spend time on would be ideal. Now the whole third layer looks blue, yellow looks blue as. I think another important thing if you do this yourself is to get a good lamp to a better light setup than my crappy torch that I'm using. I'm sure that would help with color. Oh well, gosh, sorry again. Thanks if you're still watching. I'm actually still trying to do the cross if you're wondering. <laughs> I can't find the proper yellow edges. Are you serious, bro? Can you even cube? There's so much mixed paint. I hope none of it's ectoplasm. Uh, oh, there it is. I was gonna record a pump and rave track for this solve, but instead I think I'm gonna finish the video with a sad piano song. <laughs> Should have waited till the paint dried.
Thanks for watching Captain Q.